I'm Randall C from Island Aquatics and today I'll show you how to start your Daphnia culture uh, in your own backyard. Okay. Uh, what is Daphnia magna? Daphnia magna is a planktonic crustacean that lives in fresh water. It is the usual feed of freshwater fish and today I'll show you how to uh, culture them in your own backyard. Okay. Uh, Currently, it's very easy. Uh, you just need a small pond, green water, and some fry food. Okay? How do you start a Daphnia culture? Number one, you need to have a small aquarium or a pond and place aged green water. This will serve as the first food of your Daphnia. Okay? So next is once the water is inside the pond, you put a few pieces or a few batch of Daphnia inside the pond, then wait for them to settle. The algae, the green water, will serve as their first food and during this stage, make sure that you don't put any fish on the pond because the fish will start eating the daphnia. So once, after a few days, you'll see that your water will slowly clear up. That means that the daphnia magna has already eaten most of the green water or algae on the water. So now it's time to feed them the fry food a substitute to the green water. So how do we do it in Island Aquatics? It's very simple. So how much do you feed them? Just enough to make your water cloudy. Uh, overfeeding is not good because uh, it will cause your colony to crash. Uh, so I suggest uh, feeding them little by little every day and make sure that you harvest every other day because if not the colony will be overpopulated and it might crash. So right now I'm gonna show you how to harvest your daphnia from your pond. Okay? First, you'll be needing a very fine net. Uh, I got this net from Thailand. I was able to buy it in Chatuchak Market. They use it for catching Daphnia and brine shrimp. Okay? So I'll go for a round and catch Daphnia to show you how to do it. This is pure Daphnia. If you notice, I only harvested one fourth of the area at one go. So, since we have a number of goldfish farms, we usually go a few more rounds. So, just for you to see the Daphnia harvest. So, that is pure Daphnia. ago you saw us harvest the daphnia pond uh, there's a lot of daphnia here and this is our goldfish grow out pond you'll see that we will be feeding the daphnia we just harvested directly to our goldfish we're not afraid of uh, quarantine or we need to wash them with chlorine or hydro hydrogen peroxide because we are confident that our daphnia is our own culture. We don't get it from the canal, we don't get it from the rice field. We culture it ourselves. So whatever we feed them is what they eat. They don't get any bad parasites or any bacteria from the pond or the canal. What we feed them is what they eat. So that's only fry booster or dried yeast and green water. Okay. So right now, 
I'll be getting the Daphnia and feeding them directly to the goldfish. They are all excited because this is their snack for today. Uh, later, I'll be showing you a more close up video of them feasting on Daphnia Magna. Thank you. This is a very promising tricolor oranda feasting on Daphnia Magna cultured by Island Aquatics uh, So this is another pond of, uh, for our goldfish grow out I'm just gonna finish what I harvested and feed them all to our precious goldfish in the goldfish breeding cup. Uh, this is our goldfish breeding area. We, this is where we put the male and the female and the straw for them to spawn and lay eggs. Uh, after that we harvest then we remove the male and female. Right now I'm going to show you how we use the Daphnia magnia as first food of our goldfish fry. Okay? We don't use brine shrimp, we don't use microworms, we just use Daphnia magna. Okay, so right now we are in the goldfish tub. Here we put the day, a few days old goldfish. Uh, we don't feed them brine shrimp, we just feed them Daphnia Magna. Uh, what we do is we harvest Daphnia Magna, then put them inside the tub where the fries are. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's a mixture of big Daphnia and small Daphnia inside. Uh, a lot of people will comment, okay, uh, the big Daphnia will not fit the mouth of the goldfish fry. Uh, but that's okay. Our goal is to put the big Daphnia there because once the big Daphnia multiplies, the first production of the Daphnia will be the smallest size and the goldfish will be able to eat them. As you can see, look at this. Look at this. The goldfish is very fat. You can see the belly. His belly is full of Daphnia magna. Uh, one advantage of Daphnia magna is it's a freshwater crustacean. That means that if you put it here, it will not die. Unlike brine shrimp, after putting it in fresh water, after a few minutes, after a few hours or a few minutes, it will die. Daphnia magna will propagate inside the pond, which is good because it's a steady source of food for the goldfish fry. Another advantage of Daphnia magna is its filter feeders, meaning whatever foul food that you give, will be eaten by the Daphnia Magna. Hence, the water quality of the tub will improve because of the presence of the Daphnia Magna. Oh, so, on an ending note, uh, what makes our Daphnia different here in Island Aquatics? Uh, number one, we don't catch our Daphnia from the canal or rice field. It's cultured. We culture them in a controlled environment. They, uh, that means that they eat what we want them to eat. Uh, which is only green water, uh, powdered food, and dried yeast. Uh, we can control the quantity of our production. Uh, common problem in feeding Daphnia is sometimes you can buy them in the fish store, but if it's a dry season, they're out of stock. Here, they're available year-round because we are able to control their production. Uh, we are also confident with our Daphnia because we control what we feed them. Uh, and once we harvest them, there's no need to quarantine because um, it's already cultured. So thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed our uh, tutorial video on how to start your Daphnia culture, how to feed your Daphnia culture, and how to harvest and feed your Daphnia to your goldfish. Thanks!